everyone. I am Bhumika Tamang, first year student from Pulsok Engineering Campus Department of Chemical Engineering. I and my group members, Rohit, Vidya, and Amrit made a program to solve mini Sudoku puzzles, and we had a really great time so coding it. So let's see our overview. And talking about Sudoku, it is really popular intellectual game in I think all of us are familiar with it. It is a 9x9 nine nine board that has 9 rows, 9 columns, and 9 sections of 3x3 three three cells. And its prime objective is to fill the board so that each row, each column, and each section contains digits from 1 to 9. And our program is solves the mini puzzle. So it solves on 4x4 four four board that has the digits from 0 to 4 where 0 represents a blank cell and it and our program replaces all the zeros with correct values 1 to 4. And now let's see our source code. So this is our source code and as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is the size of 4x4 board. So the size defined here is 4. This is our header file and uh, we had also defined functions here so that our code would be easier to understand, to maintain and to debug as well. So uh, now in this part, a uh, user is asked to enter a 4x4 four four Sudoku puzzles and the functions are also called here. Now in this module, uh, read board, the, uh, it is defined to read a 4x4 four four integer array that is provided by a user. And uh, in this module, print board, uh, so it is to print the 4x4 four four Sudoku board as an output and in this module called solve uh, here uh, we check if any blank shells are found or not we have used a lib called do while lib and if blank cell is found it moves to another function that we had defined and that is another round and in this module it first of all it checks every rows and if a zero is found then it counts it and if single zero is present then it finds its position and replaces its value with obvious one and uh, it and after that it checks every column and uh, while checking the column if a single zero is present it replaces it with the obvious value in another function checkbox is called here so checkbox is to check the every two by two box and uh, so now this uh, loop is to check if there are any other blank shells or not. If yes, then it returns value one. If not, then returns value zero. And this checkbox, as I mentioned earlier, checks the two by two box. If any, uh, if any single zeros are there, if yes, then it replaces its value with obvious one. And yes, that is how the puzzle is solved. Now let's run this program. Okay, now I'm asked to give it a puzzle, and here I go. So now here it is, the puzzle is solved now. If you see this solved puzzle, in every row, every column, and in every two by two cell, there is a digit from one to four. And yes, now it is how this program solves the Sudoku puzzles. And I hope you will give it a try as well. And thank you so much for staying till end. Stay safe. Thank you so much.